so that it remains stuck in your brains like how you are stuck with your wife. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my channel, Captain SQ, where we're going to discuss on Airbus systems, emergency procedures, and supplementary techniques on how to fly the plane. A320 loss of braking, memory item, and steps to take. Disclaimer, always refer to your company manuals. This video is merely a guide. Before we start, do smash the like button, comment and subscribe if you want to see more of these videos. Okay, let's dive in. First, the pilot flying or CM1, normally is the captain, that notices loss of braking will announce loss of braking. Next section, if needed, full reverses can be used to a complete stop. Caution that it may result in excessive EGT or FOD even if you are on idle reverse. After that, do release the brake pedals. The pilot monitoring will select the anti-skid nose wheel steering to off. Thereafter, reapply the brakes again. Alternate Alternative braking is now active. Monitor brake pressure on brake pressure triple indicator to maximum of 1000 psi. Some aircrafts are modulated to 1000 psi for the brake pressure, so it depends on whether your A320 has that feature. If unsuccessful, use parking brake in short successive applications. If possible, delay the use until low speed. Okay, let's recap. It's a short video. Let's recap on the memory items so that it remains stuck in your brains like how you are stuck with your wife. Reverses, max, brake pedals, release, anti-skid off, you order it, anti-skid and nose wheel steering, the pilot monitoring were off, brake pedals, Press again, brake pressure, make sure it's at 1000 psi and if there's still no braking, the last resort will be park brake use in short successive applications. So that's it for this video. Do smash the like button, comment and subscribe if you find this video useful and I will see you in the next video.